everyone, thank you very much for joining me today. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome along to a vlog and welcome to a brand new series in a truck that looks a lot different from when you last saw it. It is the same truck, <laughs> but I will get to that in a moment. First and foremost, I just want to explain why I've not been putting up any content on YouTube. Uh, the main reason for that is we've been doing a lot of runs to the same places uh, for the same customers. And after so long, I thought, you know what, this is going to get boring content. And the days were nothing special. Um, so I did record a few days, but I ended up deleting the stuff because, like I say, I just don't want to be boring you all. So I thought I'd take a bit of a break. Although I have still been posting on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. So if you are on any of them, please do check me out. The links are in the description below. Um, but it also meant I could spend some time with the family, have some chill time, uh, which was quite nice, especially over the Christmas period. Which, like I say, I hope you had a great Christmas and a happy new year. Here's hoping that this year is going to be a lot better than last year. <laughs> we will see what happens. Um, we've got a few things lined up, which hopefully will take place within this next month or so. Fingers crossed, we shall see. We shall see, see what happens. Um, but more on that, when it happens <laughs> um, but yeah new truck well not new truck but new look truck this truck has now been wrapped in the company livery it is uh, currently the only one in the fleet to have red in it all the others are currently yellow we're trying out a couple of liveries I shall post some pictures here uh, of the two that have been done this one and the sister um, and we're just, they're just trying to decide which one to go for. Whether to go for the red like mine or the yellow. Uh, I like the red because it, it breaks it up a bit. The bottom of the doors is like a purpley colour because it goes from black into red. So it makes it like a purple colour. Which is quite a nice colour actually. Um, but, end of the day, if they go for yellow, that's absolutely fine. Because it means that my truck is unique in the fleet. <laughs> so I don't mind that. that. That doesn't bother me at all. Whatever they go for, they go for. What was nice though was the uh, boss let me choose which one I wanted this one doing as because this was done first out of the two. Like I said, if you follow me on social media, you've already seen the pictures of it anyway, so uh, it's not really a massive announcement. Um, but yeah, now to today. The plan, the plan, was to start at five, have a run up to Worksop, where I've just been, then to head up to York, to do a collection for Lincoln. All fairly easy, all on big industrial estates. I mean, Lincoln at first put shivers down the spine a bit because I've got a double decker behind me. And I was thinking, oh, depends where that's in Lincoln it is. But it was literally just off the 46 on an old airfield. So it was really easy to get to. So that was no problem at all. Um, but I'm not doing that now. And I'm not doing that now because of one reason. I'm taking the load back. Yes, uh, this morning when I first got in, I um, hooked up to the trailer, pulled forward, and I checked on my lights, and I found out that the light cluster on the near side rear of the trailer was not working. So, uh, with having 42 pallets on the back, I didn't really fancy stripping the trailer down and putting it onto another one, because my booking time was only an hour and a half away. And he'll tell me about that to do the transfer and stuff. So, me and Dave, uh, Dave Andrews, who's one of my colleagues, and a brilliant bloke. So, if you're watching this, Dave, I appreciate how you helped this morning. We stripped back the light, uh, light cluster um, and bodged it, for want of a better word. So, now it is all working. I've got all lights that I need to have. So, uh, back to being legal again. So yeah, I set off for a workshop, got there about an hour late, but it's a regular drop of ours, so they're not too worried about us being late or early. Went to the gatehouse to find out that we are not booked in. <laughs> so I got refused for not being booked in. So after all that this morning, I'm now taking the load back. It also means that I might not be doing the, um, the yacht run, but... Uh, I say I don't mind doing it, but the only problem is it's an AM collection and I'm not going to get back to the yard now until quarter to ten. So I need a half hour break when I get there. So that I can blitz it in one go. Uh, so that'll be quarter past ten. 
and then it's the run up to York, which you know, it's only about two hours up the road, so it's not far, but it won't be an AM collection, unfortunately. So if they can push that booking time, the collection time back to one o'clock, I'll be all right to do it. But I don't know yet, we'll have to see. But yeah, so today hasn't really gone quite to plan. That is why this episode is called Double Deck Disasters. <laughs> a bit misleading, it might actually be a bit of a, a bit of a clickbait title, but hey ho, all the views count, don't they? <laughs> but yeah, so once again, just before I crack on, I'm just going to thank you all for your patience. None of you have been bugging me to when I'm coming back. Um, those of you that are on my social media have all been liking and commenting on the stuff that I've been posting up there. And nobody really has actually asked about this YouTube channel. So uh, it's nice to know that you sort of understand why I'm taking a break. Uh, when I announced on Saturday, on Sunday, sorry, last week, last weekend, that I was coming back, I had lots of positive feedback, so that's all good. So, but yeah, it's nice to be back actually, to be fair. But anyway, I'm rambling on. I'm going to crack on back to the yard. Um, I'm going to see when I get back if they want this leaving on because the chances are it might go back out tomorrow. Might get rebooked in for tomorrow or even later today. Um, so instead of stripping it down to reload it again, there's no real point. So uh, might as well just leave it on. And then we'll see what the plan is from there. So I'm going to crack on. Make my back to the yard. Now the light's coming up. You might be able to see better on the road footage and I shall rejoin you all when I know what is happening next. A bit of an update for you. I've now arrived back at the yard as you can see. I've parked the loaded trailer up um, because they're going to try and rebook it in again for tomorrow so there's no real point in actually unloading the trailer for the sake of them just reloading it again. And they don't really need the deck trailer at the minute anyway so we're not doing too bad. Now I've hooked up to a straight frame trailer I'm now heading through to a customer uh, down the A46 uh, again. So, uh, heading back the way I went this morning. It's going to be up and down 46 day, I think, today. <laughs> uh, from there, I am taking um, the loaded trailer to uh, a customer of ours in uh, Leicester itself. So it's not going that far, to be fair. It's only just going like sort of around the corner. Uh, I'm going to see whether they've got an empty trailer there for us or whether um, we're going to have to get this one tipped. Don't know yet, 
but we shall see. But yeah, so today's plan sort of went out the window a bit, but <laughs> one of those things, unfortunately, beyond all of our control. Um, no matter what happened this morning regarding the, the lights needing sorting, um, they were going to refuse the the loader put uh, works up anyway. So, but oh well. So back on locals for the minute. So I'm going to head over to the customers, and I shall see you all in a bit when I'm there. Right, there we go, we've uh, arrived at the delivery point and unfortunately I can't leave the trailer here because they won't have any base space left for anybody else. So, I'm now going to back onto base 7, which is the one right next to me here, and they're going to live chip me. So that's the plan. So, I would put you on the outside of the truck but it is raining, as you can see from the front camera. So, uh, we have to do it inside the truck for now, I think. It's going to be one of them days today. This load wasn't booked in either. But, They need the stuff more than what the other customer did. <laughs> so, uh, the booking in issue isn't from our end, it's actually from the supplier's end. They're the ones that book things in, and uh, they obviously haven't been doing because of the festive period. things isn't it right there we go we're on the bay they are sorted it's 
to hand the paperwork in and I shall see you all in a minute. Right, there we go, all tipped. I'm just pulling off the bay now. Uh, once I'm off the bay, I'm just going to give the officer a call to see what you want me to do next. And I shall let you know from there. Just give the doors a close. Got to bring you with me. There we go, all empty. So sorted. Now time to give the office a call. Right. I'm not sure what we're doing yet. Um, it is a bit early for some collections. Uh, a lot of them won't be open at this time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to park up over here in one of the parking bays. And I'm going to wait for a phone call. There's no point in me leaving here until I know where I'm heading. Because I could head back to the yard and I could then find out that, oh, there's a collection just up the road here them to come all the way back. So instead of wasting diesel, I shall park in this space here. I'm going to sandwich while I'm waiting. There we go. Yeah because it's like been the uh, the holiday break people are just starting back today so timings and things are all over the place at the minute which is understandable. the right space. Not that it really matters because there's nobody else here. <laughs> there we go. Not very straight but I must admit. But then again my driving has been shocking today. Never be afraid to take a shunt. That will do nicely. So I shall wait here now until I hear from the office and I shall let you know what the plan is from there. Right, I've just had a phone call back from the office. Um, I'm now heading to a customer over in Weston to do a trailer swap there. The trailer that I'm going to drop off this one isn't going to be loaded today, so I need to sweep by the yard to pick up a Suzy lock, which I will show you what they are and how they work. Um, so then we can leave the trailer there overnight and it'll be safe and secure. Uh, when I take the trailer back to the yard, I've got two bits to come off and one custom to stay on. So I'll be going to the warehouse, getting that tip first, then parking up outside afterwards. But well, yeah, so that's the plan. So I'm going to crack on, get that done, and I shall rejoin you all in a minute.
Yeah, I think I'm going to call this uh, vlog Double Deck Disastrous Day. <laughs> it just seems to be one of them days today. Um, I've not done the trailer swap at that customer, pure and simply because they are not ready yet. They are not ready yet because they are short staffed and they've got a container in and the stuff that's on the container is what's going on our trailer. So we've not been able to unload it as quick as they normally would so the stuff isn't ready. Normally it is ready by this time of day so they are running behind quite drastically to be fair. Um, so I can understand why I've got to send there to do the swap, makes sense to be fair. But yeah, what was it? Broken lights on the double decker this morning. A rejected delivery because it wasn't booked in at workshop. Then after my collection in Syston, going to the other place, they said it wasn't booked in there, so that nearly got turned away. And now this. <laughs> oh, it's been one of them days, and it's only the first day back at work of 2021. Ah oh, well. I know it might be entertaining on the. Uh, on the vlog front but I want to show it for what it actually is show that there is days where things don't go right um, it's not a very interesting day what we're doing but it shows what can go wrong best laid plans and all that uh, so what I'm doing now is I am heading back to the yard if there is space I'm going to give my unit a wash because she drastically needs it she really really does um, but uh, I've told them that I'm empty and I'm available if you've got any work to do or anything like that. So uh, we will see. But yeah, be in the dark at the minute. I don't know what the plan is. Um, I think we've got enough drivers at the minute to cover what's coming in. A little bit slippy there. Roads are very greasy at the minute. There we go. Um, so they don't need me at the minute. So yeah, I'm going to take advantage of that and give the truck a wash. So... Uh, <laughs> the thing with days like this is they drag. You know, because you're not really being... Well, well not efficient, because you are being efficient, but you're not really doing much in the way of work, just because of how it is. It just seems to drag, and drag, and drag and then drag some more <laughs> I mean it's only just half two now and to me it feels like it's about five o'clock so yeah <laughs> but it is what it is like I say take the rough with the smooth um, that's the thing with this job you just don't know what you're going to get from one day to the next um, so uh, yeah I'm, I'm rambling on I'm sorry <laughs> I'm going to leave you here and get back to the yard see if i can get the unit washed hopefully and i shall rejoin you all again in a wee while well that's the truck all washed look a lot better than what it did before a hell of a lot better to be fair a bit more to my standard now <laughs> you know how i like to keep my truck especially if you follow me on instagram you'll see i'm always keeping keeping it clean you know on saturday coming on working so i'm going to uh try and cut back the diesel tank again I get it all shiny. Um, all being well, anyway, that's the plan. Uh, but the plan for now, as I'm heading to a customer, uh, not too far from where I did that collection earlier, um, to collect a trailer of ours that's there. It's been loaded throughout the day and it's now ready to go. So that's the plan. Um, we normally do a trailer swap there, but it's a small yard, so it's easier for us to take a trailer in the morning and then go collect the full one later in the day when it's done. Um, because there's nowhere to park the trailer that you're dropping off whilst you then move the full one out of the way to so then put that one in its place, if you know what I mean. It's a bit of a, a, bit of a nightmare. You're gonna be in the way, no matter where you go. So, uh, because it's only a small yard and you've got about six different companies running out of there, you've always got vans and trucks and stuff coming and going. So yeah, it's not ideal. Yeah, that's the plan at the minute, so I'm going to crack on and maybe way up to there. And I shall rejoin you one in a bit when I've uh, hooked up and on my way back.
Right, we are nearly there now. Literally just up here. Um, there you go, Mr. Car Driver, you come down. Fair enough, you come down. The entrance way is just on the left hand side here. As you can see, anyway, it's not the widest of entrances. And the trailer that we're picking up is that one just there. That you can see. So the plan is if I can spin around somewhere, head back out the way in. just back straight onto the trailer. As you can see there's not a huge amount of room in here and like I say normally we actually have to uh, drop a trailer off at the same time so we have to park a trailer on that roadway in front of us just here and then we have to sort of uh, swap and change the best we can not always easy but, uh, but yeah not, not the worst that oh, should be underneath there Good gems because I don't know how close we are to the building. Don't want to push it backwards. There we go, sorted. Wait for Mr. Portlift to come by. Tug test, sorted. Right, I'm going to hook up and I shall rejoin you when I'm done that. Right, there we go, that is that trailer collected. Made a bit more difficult because of the car right next to the leg winding handle. But, we got sorted. So now it's time to head back to the yard, get this emptied, we'll see what's next. 
Uh, I'm not sure if there will be anything next or not, but uh, I shall certainly ask the question. Let's go this way, a bit easier. I'll let him out of Sherwood. head back to the yard and uh, I shall rejoin you all to know what's happening next. loaded all we've got to do now is park the trailer up and that is me then done for the day going until five o'clock tomorrow so I'm gonna end the vlog here sorry it's not been the most exciting of vlogs for you to uh, watch but I wanted to get back into doing it because it's been a bit of a while since I've done one uh, but it also shows though that things don't always go to plan things can go wrong and sometimes do so uh, but either way, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a comment on the video and give the video a thumbs up. By giving the video a thumbs up, all it does is just share it with a wider audience. I make no money whatsoever from doing, giving the video a thumbs up. Um, if you don't like the video that I put out, do feel free to give it a thumbs down. But if you do give it a thumbs down, can you just please explain to me why you have thought it deserves a thumbs down just so I know so I can improve the vlogs that's what it's all about isn't it um, if you want to help out with the channel I have got a, um, a way you can help me which is buy me a coffee the link is above and in the description it's non subscription it is just basically a one-off payment of your choice and the money will go back towards uh, running the channel either for paying for um, the music or stuff like that or the equipment or anything so yeah if you want to uh, do that that would be mutually appreciated but at the same token it is not mandatory all my content will always always remain free let me just check the home game behind me here so never think that you have to subscribe to me as in pay to watch any of my content because that would never be the case do um, talk about subscribing if you haven't done also already and you do like the content I'm putting out please do uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button below that would be amazing if you could do that 
but yeah I think that's about it for now I think but yeah anyway thank you very much for watching and I shall see you all again soon ta-ta mm -hmm.